that spell. Yep, that is better. Hello, hello, EastEnders fans, and welcome to my review of tonight's EastEnders. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight's EastEnders was really, really good um, in some places, but it was a good episode. It was great. It was great. It was a great episode. Coming up next will be my review of um, the Series 7 premiere of Four O'Clock Club, so don't miss that, guys. If you're Four O'Clock Club fans, stay tuned. It's going to be epic. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. So, um, Mick and Linda are left facing a harsh reality while Kush does his best to help Stacey and Martin. Yeah, so, Mick and Linda gets a harsh reality. Mick lies to Linda about um, he, he's got the money for um, the Vic, but until um, he talks to halfway, and yeah, of course. And then asks Vincent for money, and Vincent just gives him a pound. And yeah, they're all off to toots. So, so, and then Mick tells Linda that um, Mick tells Linda that he has got the money, so we're gonna lose the Vic um, for good. So while walking around the Vic at the end of the episode, Mick sees the ring on the table where halfway le leave leaves it um left it. So hmm Pretty sure stuff is gonna happen. Pretty sure, um, with that ring. Well I find out. So yeah. Um yes, um the my and Stacey drama continues where Kush tries to help um, them out the situation and um, of course Kush finds out um, about him he wants to get custody for the kids Martin and yeah Kush tries to help her help them out um, to get fix things out fix things out and it all goes completely wrong so yeah Stacey uh, well Sonia has a go at Stacey um, about stuff about men and that and of Stacey points the finger about her mom, of course and uh, yeah mm, it all goes on yep, it does mm, mm, it does of course it does but yeah it really does um, and then Kirsch um, tries to help stop and he nearly has a heart attack again and yeah and Kush um trying to sort it out um stop them bickering and yeah um yeah trying to stop them bickering again and trying to sort it out of course but yeah is it go still what if it's Martin and of course Martin called um, Max a bold headed twit and yeah is it going to work with Martin and Stacey? We'll find out, guys. So, yes, the big date, the second big date, well, the second date of um, Whitney um, um, with Halfway Whitney. Um, halfway give, uh, um, asks some advice from Mick and say, I want to ask her to be my girlfriend. And then asks Linda for it, advice, oh, yeah, the date's going to be here. At the Vic. Well, yeah. Linda wasn't pleased for that. But yeah, Mick, us, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a good place. <clears throat> and then uh, when it was on the date, when it was on the date of the Vic, um, the Vic date was between Whitney and Halfway. Halfway um, says, Oh, do you fancy me? Am I here? Well, I'm here though. Well, halfway was nearly there until he mucks up until he gives the ring to um, Brit. Wait, do you want to be my girlfriend? Is it? When he says, oh, "I'm not going to marry you." When are you, can you be my girlfriend? No. Yeah, when he goes out, is it? And of course, halfway leaves the ring until Mick picks it up at the end of the episode. So yeah, Bernadette and. Tiff, um, Bernadette and Tiffany, um, 
becomes friends. I don't know why uh, Benedict was trying to well cleaning um well yeah well cleaning um the clothes with uh, well ironing the clothes until um he find well the the took a pic online and finds it to finds out about um. He, she's got a like on this boy, and Bernadette leaves the iron on the clothes, on the clothes um, shirt, and that's ripped. And then he fo she b throws it on the, on, I think it's Bex's shirt. Yeah, Bex's um, t-shirt. Yep. Gonna get busted. Oh, yeah, they are. They are. But yeah, um, are I'm just saying this. Comment down below your thoughts. Are um, t are Linda and Mick un going to get the money on time? Is Stacy and Maureen going to fix things? We have to find out, guys. We have to find out. We have to find out if they're going to fix things. If not. I have to find out, guys. So, my verdict of this um, tonight's East Enders, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because it was a good episode and fantastic. Give it a big thumbs up, guys. East Enders continues tomorrow at half 7 on BBC One. Don't miss it, guys. It's going to be a whopper one. Keep on subscribing to my channel for all things sketches, reviews, and more. Click the subscribe button if you're new around here. Click the bell button if you're going to notification if I, uh, notification when I upload. And see you in a bit. For my last review today and um, for Clock Club season series seven review and um, premiere review. So I hope you enjoy it. enjoyed this review guys. See you soon for more epic reviews like this. Bye bye. Oh, you're still here. Click the subscribe button, guys. Um, click the subscribe button if you're new around here, guys, for more epic reviews with me, not so fun comedian. See you later. Bye.